Do you have to play The Last of Us video games in order to enjoy the HBO show? No, and this is why. I actually had the amazing opportunity and the honor to watch the very first episode of The Last of Us TV show that's coming out on HBO Max on January 15th. Y pues claro, mi pana, I'm gonna take this time to let you know exactly what the major details are without any spoilers and let you know exactly what you can expect. Off the rip, you're gonna notice, and there's no way to sugarcoat it, I am so excited that I get to say this, this is possibly one of the best gaming adaptations visually that we will ever get. Partially, and this is just my opinion based on what I saw, it's based on having a cohesive and talented team behind the story that is able to make an homage to the original games without making a direct ripoff. In case you're not a hardcore gamer or you're not familiar with The Last of Us as a franchise, Neil Druckmann was the creative director for both The Last of Us 1, The Last of Us 2, and basically most of your favorite Uncharted games. Under his helm, The Last of Us franchise has gotten close to 600 Game of the Year awards across all major publications. Why does all of that matter? Well, he understands the lore because he was directly involved in creating it and bringing it forth in some world-class video games. Well, you should be excited to know that Neil Druckmann himself is actually a co-creator and the writer for this Last of Us TV show adaptation. And he is doing so with Chris Mazin, which if you haven't heard of before, he was the guy behind Chernobyl. That is also an amazing show on its own right, and it actually shows in terms of the creative vision on how they were adapting this post-apocalyptic world. Let's take it step by step. They only showed us the pilot, but they already gave us a brief look into what the series is going to try and accomplish. One of the main things this show has going for it is that they nailed the design both of the world and, of course, everything you're going to see fungi-wise. I'm going to be very careful to not give any spoilers, but essentially, if you've played the games, you know that the infection is mostly based on fungus. I'm proud to let you know that the adaptation of that specific infection is really good in this one, especially because of the practical effects that they use. This attention to detail also extends, thankfully, to the cities that we see as the show takes shape. It goes beyond just the design choices when it comes to the color grading, the cinematography. It also extends to the costume design, the actual structure of the buildings, it all looks exactly like it was taken from the video game. But they also added their own spin when it comes to the story, and that's what I mainly wanted to talk about. I have always been a major proponent of having people that actually played the original games or have some connection to the source material working as writers and producers for big adaptations. In this case, it doesn't get any better because the creative director of the source material is the one calling the shots. So, based on the 85-minute pilot, I am here to let you know that this is not a direct direct imitation of the original Last of Us game, it is more like a beautiful homage to its legacy. We were not expecting the dialogue to be exactly the same or the events to take place exactly like they saw in the game. We just needed them to be fully centered around the cohesive elements that we loved from the main narrative and follow those footsteps to tear their own story. And that is exactly what we saw in this first episode. They are able to nail the intensity, the emotion, the grittiness, and the scale of this world that we know and love so far. TLDR, do you have to worry about this show not living up to expectations? No. To me, and this is just my personal opinion and from the people that saw the show with me, it is on the right track narratively in terms of cinematography, pacing, and of course the emotion and the acting. Bella Ramsey, Pedro Pascal, and the rest of the actors that we saw in this first episode were acting like the rent was due. Pedro and Bella's depictions of Ellie and Joel are perfect for this sort of adaptation. They captured the essence of what it would be like to live live in this chaotic wasteland of a post-apocalyptic world with intention, emotion, and of course, intensity. The only outward negative that I personally saw from the show is that obviously, as a pilot, 85 minutes is really long. I don't personally think that it detracts much from the actual impact that the show will have. I just think that as a pilot, having an 85 minute show can deter some people that are like, uh, I don't know if like I'm ready to invest this much time into a new show. From the initial reports, I believe this is the only episode to go at this length unless they do something crazy for the finale. But I will say, every single second of those 85 minutes is put to good use. Without any spoilers, the beginning monologue sets the stage perfectly tonally to let you know exactly what kind of a world we are going to be thrusted into. And once the apocalypse starts to hit, you're gonna see some very familiar scenes that are gonna get you all up in your feelings. The major success that I saw in the narrative side is how they were able to bring us a familiar look into how this show is supposed to run, based on the video game lore, but also set up their own 
own specific flair for the story of Joe, Ellie, how they got together, and of course the characters that they are going to be interacting with across their journey. So yeah, besides the length being a little bit overbearing for us, some portions of the audience, I don't see any major negatives in this show, which is mind-blowing. Truthfully, we're going to have to wait and see until the other episodes are out to give our full conclusion, but I'm just here to let you know if you had any reservations about starting the show and thinking this is going to be a major L like we've seen for decades of botched gaming adaptations, this is a new age. Neil Druckmann, Chris Mazin have a creative vision that is wholly centered around bringing the beautiful aspects that we saw from The Last of Us into this amazing television format. It's going to give us just enough time to get acquainted with these characters, explore their motivations, their angers, their frustrations, and of course, see all of the questionable choices that they make as they try to deal with the infected. If you're asking me for some predictions, I think this show has the capability of being one of the biggest shows on HBO Max in 2023. Having Neil Druckmann not only serve as co-creator, but actually the director for some of the episodes is mwah, the chef's kiss that we all wanted to see. The acting, the scale, the cinematography, everything looks on point to give us a top tier show. So, I have to ask, now that you have a clear idea of what to expect, are you excited to watch this show once it comes out? I'm gonna be watching every single episode and giving you a full breakdown of the easter eggs, the similarities to the games, and of course the reviews on every single episode on this channel. So make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, with the notification bells on, and share this with your friends if they're gamers or if they just want to see another banging show.